What's going on guys? Thanks for stopping in to check out another video. I'd like to take this time to remind you to please hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for future uploads, like and comment on this video. Next up on the turntable guys we've got this Hot Wheels Dune Daddy. This is a brand new casting you can see in the background there I just cracked it open. This is going to be another victim of a decal, detail, and I believe on this one I'm just going to leave these wheels. This is going to be number three of my uh, Baja buggies that I've customized. I did a couple when I first started customizing and uh, bought this one to kind of go with the other two that I've done it's been sitting around for quite some time finally gonna get around to doing this one as well like I said it's a brand new casting so everything is in mint condition just gonna be getting some details and decals on this one I think I'm going to leave the uh, one and only tampo that it has on it right there on the hood I just think it's kind of cool I like the whole dune daddy thing and the color is going to match the whole theme I've got going on for it So with all that being said, I'm going to drill it apart, get to work on it, and I'll be back. Hang tight. Alright guys, this is where I ended up with the Dune Daddy. As I mentioned earlier, I left the white factory paint and the only decal that it had on it, which is the uh, on the hood, the Dune Daddy decal itself. Other than that, Got the uh, BP and the Castro logos on the back. Did a little bit of detailing on the front there. The headlights and the uh, front grille. Got some Goodyear decals. Some numbers on the side. Detailed the uh, exhaust pipes on the tips there. Also detailed the back of the uh, rally lights above the windshield. Coming around the front here, it details a little winch. Another cool little buggy. Going to enjoy having this in the collection. I think I mentioned earlier to you guys that this was number three of a set that I started when I first started customizing cars. I've got the other two in the background back there. I'm going to pull them up. I'll let you check those out too real quick. And this is the custom matchbox Baja Bandit that I did. This was the second one I did after doing that Baja buggy. You can see I detailed the engine, the tail lights. A little bit of interior detail. Not a ton of decals on this one, just a few. Not really a whole lot of room on this car to put too many, but uh, decided that this one was going to be sponsored by the numerous tire companies you see. This one was a uh, full custom other than the wheels I did keep the original wheels on this one so just new paint decals and details but I still think it came out pretty sharp alright guys and this is the first one I did that kinda set this whole trio into motion this is a Lesney Matchbox Baja Buggy. 
when I got it, it was in pretty rough shape. So I did a full-blown custom restoration on it. New paint job, decals, details, a few additions. You can see the tire in the back. Uh, there used to be an engine there. I borrowed that engine. Threw it in a Leslie Matchbox Mustang. It was an exact match and I was more interested in doing the Mustang at the time. But I'm glad I did because it prompted me to use that tire. Which I pulled off of a, a Leslie Matchbox King Size trailer because it was an exact match for the wheels on it. So that worked out great. And then the addition of the light bar on the top. I pulled that out of a hyper rocker. This was one of my very first ones, like I said, so I was pretty proud of this one when I finished it. I still am. Still really love this casting. It's got a special place being one of my first. I'll let you guys check out that Dune Daddy one more spin or two. Alright guys, there it is. Custom Hot Wheels Dune Daddy. Appreciate you guys checking it out. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.